Hi everybody, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I am not on the Utopia of the Seas. I am looking at booking the Utopia, but I didn't go on the inaugural sailing. I am, I've stood away from it just because it was cost ineffective coming from Canada, traveling all that distance, the flights, the cruise and everything. To go on a seven day cruise would have been well over $12,000 for me to have to do this, including my flights and hotels. Crazy, crazy, but I was, <laughs> I was looking at going on this cruise and there's one, one thing that may surprise you, may be the real reason I really wish I went on the first sailings. So the Utopia of the Seas is the sixth Oasis class cruise ship. It's not even the largest cruise ship this time. The Icon takes that crown, if you will. And there's not a lot of new innovations on the ship. They kind of take something from all the other ships and kind of sink it and improve it slightly, etc. So there's not a lot of brand new things on this cruise ship except for one thing that I'm gonna talk about. But you would think one of the things I'd be most excited about is I'm hearing really good things about the show, the Broadway show on Royal Caribbean and the entertainment on board, the figure skating show, really good, lots of people are talking about it, Aqua Show, etc. A lot of people are talking, and I'm the big entertainment guy. I'm the guy who wants those entertainment venues on the ship. So you would think that's what I'd be most excited about for going on this cruise. However, it's not. I also like unique features on a cruise ship. That's why I was, when I was on the Sun Princess, my favorite thing about the Sun Princess was the new dining venues they had on board. The new hot pot, the new kibachi restaurant, those restaurants and Spellbound, the magic experience on board. Something that I don't see on other, I see magic shows, but not a magic experience where the whole venue is built around magic, including magicians wandering around in the bar while you're drinking and the restaurant, dining, all this, including a magic show. Something I've, you know, completely unique, haven't seen it on a cruise ship. So I love kind of things like that. And now the Utopia of the Seas has something very similar to a dining experience that's not on any other ship. And that is the Royal Caribbean Railway. That's right, a railway. They built a train dining venue. Well, not only did they build it to look like a classic dining car on a train, but now they have the LED screens, etc., on board, and they can show as the train's moving. They can change that at any time. So at one cruise, you may be say, you know, going through the old west. In another, you may be on the Orient Express. It could be lots of different classic trains and settings. So, you know, through the Canadian Rockies on the way to Alaska, they can do all kinds of things. Plus the waiters and everything are kind of characters as well during this dining experience. I think that is so cool and I so wish I could experience it. It's almost made me double check and think I should have spent the money just for that dining venue. Well, I, I'd also really have enjoyed the shows, etc. Absolutely. But, but this, you know, a, di a whole new dining venue that's an entertainment as well. I love those kind of, ex it's like dinner theater, right? I really enjoy it, especially when you have the cast kind of involved in the atmosphere. It's not just something going on around you. It's the characters, it's a story, and the good thing, like I said, is that they've made this to the point where they can change the scenery and change the feel. One day, the waiters and waitresses could be 
dressed up in Western saloon gear. The next, they can be dressed from the Orient, right? They can be through Africa. They can all dress accordingly to the scenery gonna, about to go by. Not only that, they can change the dining menu to match what they're going through. How cool is that? How cool. And they say every couple of months they're going to change this up. And I really think that is one of the best ideas that Royal Caribbean has come up with in a long time. I would love to have experienced this. Absolutely. The Royal Caribbean Railway. And I saw a couple articles on this and one was by a train fan, somebody who loves the trains. And he really thought this was a cool idea and everything, but he says, it's almost as if people don't know you can actually do that right now. You could actually go on a real train and see those things happening. Yes, you can for thousands of dollars uh, to do it as opposed to a hundred and some dollars for dining, but it's also not theater. The waiters and waitresses are not going to be representing a time period or you know a, a particular thing. Yes, the food might be of that you know area you're in, and the people around might be that as well, culturally, but I mean, let's be honest, sometimes you know the interaction is, is just thank you very much, here you go, sir. What else can I get you? That's not immersive, where if you have an actor and an, like a staff member kind of being a character, they're doing more than that. They're adding to the atmosphere and they're making the experience more enjoyable. I love train travel. I, I absolutely do. If I'm going on a, out of Toronto or Montreal here in Canada, I'll take the train to those destinations. I've taken the train to Vancouver, Canada from Ottawa. I've taken the train to Halifax, Nova Scotia from Ottawa. Uh, like I've traveled Canada by rail in one of those sleeper cars and I absolutely love it. It's really costly sometimes, but I absolutely love the leisurely of traveling by train and I would love to get on the Orient Express. I would love to be in one of those classic first class cars that some people show on the internet. I watch videos like that and go, oh, those are cool. It's kind of like if you watch somebody staying in a suite on Emirates flying to Dubai. Uh, and you see that the, it's like a bedroom and they actually have a shower on board a plane. And these flights, you know, obviously are like $40,000 for these people. But you dream of doing it, right? You dream of doing it. Well, you can dream of dining on the Orient Express or a fancy rail car if you go on Utopia the Seas for a mere hundred and some dollars a person and enjoy a good meal at the time, and then enjoy the rest of the fun things they have on that cruise ship. Kinda wish I did go on these first sailings. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think that's a really cool new feature? Will you try it if you ever get on Utopia of the Seas? I know I will. I will want to book that immediately. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, and until next time, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from all around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.